Some good news for women's basketball fans, college troops fans. Units, monetary units are coming to women's tournament on Tuesday. The Division I Board of Directors voted unanimously to introduce a proposal that, if supported by Division I members in January, it will be. That's got to go through the steps and the hoops, all those kind of things. But it would financially reward participating programs in the Division I Women's Basketball Championship starting with the 2025 tournament. So next tournament, this month away. Rex, Bobby, Maisha, C37. And we all hope, we all hope that Coach Huey's Cougars will be in the tournament. We all hope that. Not many of us expect it, but we hope it. The proposal, which would create a women's basketball equal conference fund and a women's basketball performance fund, is scheduled for a vote by Division I, Division I members in January at the NCAA convention in Nashville. If approved, it will be approved. If approved, the units from both funds would be awarded beginning with the 2025 Division I Women's Basketball Championship. The structure of the two funds mirrors the existing distributions associated with the Division I Men's Tournament. Recommended by the Division I Board of Directors Finance Committee, the combined women's basketball funds would build up over three years to $25 million and units earned by participating teams in the Division I Women's Tournament will be paid out to schools' respective conference offices starting in 2026 on a rolling three-year basis. The proposed combined funds would begin at $15 million in the 2025-26 fiscal year increase to $20 million for 26-27 fiscal year and reach the proposed $25 million starting with the 2025-28 fiscal year. After reaching the fully funded amount of $25 million, the women's basketball funds would grow at the same rate as all other Division I funds, which is approximately 2.9% each year. So as Dr. Maisha said, it is, it's about time the NCAA step up and support with money, step up and support Division I women's basketball. That is great to see. The units, 25 million, 15, 20, and 25 million. Of course, the first years of it, it's not going to be similar to the men's side. I think the men's side is, what, $215 million, something like that, annually, and it grows 3% a year. But it's a start. It's a start that women's teams who earn a spot in the tournament receive some compensation, financial reward for earning a trip to the tournament. And that means if eight teams from the Big 12 make the tournament each year, then those that money each team will earn a unit. That money will go to the conference. So that's eight units. And then you advance in the tournament. Every game you win is another unit. And think until, until the final four, like it is on the men's side. So the first round through the regional final, you earn units as you advance in the tournament. So you earn units for your conference. And then the conference will divide the money as it sees fit to its members. Most, most conferences divided equally. Some divided to just the teams who made the tournament. <laughs> but it is another step, a positive step for Division I women's basketball teams going forward. So I'm glad of that. And like I said, it's a proposal right now, but it will pass in January. I think the board also meets today to hammer out a few other things, but it's going to pass. Make It'll be official in January and to be ready in time for the 2025 NCAA Division I Women's 
basketball tournament. 